thank you, Lord. May He continue to cause His face to shine upon you. Praise God and bring you peace. May your joy or the joy of the Lord be embedded in your soul. Thank you. That you can actually say, regardless of the circumstances that you're going through, regardless of the affliction that is happening around you. Whether it be sickness, whether it be violence, whether it be whatever it is, whatever it is, is well. It is well with it my soul. It is well. Thank you, Jesus. It is well. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. There's a portion in that, in that verse, in the chapter that Brother Mike, brother, brother Pat. Pat has read. It says, Nobody can curse Israel because Israel is blessed. There is a portion also in the scripture, and there's a portion that verse I like to say that are used by the apostles for the Gentiles. What say the scriptures? The scripture says, Israel, hallelujah, is my firstborn. Oh, yes. Amen. That's what he said to. Pharaoh. Amen. So Israel is my firstborn. Yes. Amen. So nobody can <coughs> curse Israel. And regardless of their behavior at times, mm -hmm. praise God, you still are not permitted curse. to curse. Yes. If you want a blessing which you will see later on in this lesson, praise God. If you want a blessing and I I'm happy that Grant is back. <laughs> Praise God. This is one of his sayings. Is that I will always bless Israel because I want to be blessed. Yes. Amen. 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 So we need to get into the habit. Because regardless of what we're seeing or hearing throughout this time. Yes. Amen. Israel is God's first born. Yes. Amen. 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 Paul says, what shall we say then? <laughs> Should we condemn Israel? The Bible says no. Because what has happened to the church or what the church's responsibility needs to understand is that we are become joint hearers. Praise God. Joint hearers with, with Israel. Israel. We have become a part of the commonwealth of Israel. Thank you, Jesus. So whatever blessing they have, whatever blessing they have, whatever blessing is shed upon Israel, it flows over onto the church. Amen. Amen. So we need to understand that and have that understanding within our spirits. Greetings, brethren. Praise God. Uh, welcome back, Grant. Praise God. We miss you. Amen. so big and so huge. Amen. That 
I'm not going to be able to to to, uh, to go into much detail with this. But I would like to start on the very the very last um, subtopic subtopic in the lesson, yeah. and that very last one is blessed and be blessed. Blessed to be blessed. Mm -hmm. Amen. Blessed to be blessed. Yes, and be blessed. we are going to look at a, a Balaam in a different context. Amen. We know of him as a missionary prophet. In other words, he prophesies so that he can get gain. Mercy yeah. Lord. That's how he makes his living. And, and also he gives weird instructions. Amen. He gives weird, weird advice. And you see that in the, in the lesson in the book of Numbers 3, 25, 35, way down to the point whereby he calls Israel the men of war to sin with the women of the Moabitish women. Yes. Amen. He encouraged them to commit fornication and adultery and everything like that. That's the sort of person he is. Mm. But there is something about God that God can use any means, praise God, to pronounce a blessing on you. Yes. Amen. Yes. God can actually cause, praise God, a man like Caiaphas, mm. praise God, <laughs> to pronounce a blessing on Christ. On Christ. On Christ. Amen. <laughs> we, God is able, brother Pat, Amen. to cause a man like King Saul to be to uh, to have an uh, anointing with the Holy Ghost mm. and cause him to prophesy. Mm. Yeah. Amen. 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 So. I will take this afternoon on the context in which we're going to be looking at Balaam. Mm. We're looking at Balaam, as the topic says, Balaam cannot curse his way. As much as he would like to, because if he curses his way, Brother Campbell, guess what? He lines his pocket. Mm. Yes. Amen? Yes. In the lesson, you see a verse there where it says, and the elders came with the means of definition, yes. the rewards of yes. definition. Yes. Praise God. So his behavior, we straightway we know the, the behavior of Balaam. Mm -hmm. The Bible doesn't present a wonderful behavior of Balaam. Mm -hmm. But guess what? God works. Next slide, right? and we look at this. <coughs> Amen. Death and life. Amen. Proverbs 18.21 Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Deut Amen. Deuteronomy 30 verse 19 I call heaven and earth to record this day against you, that I have set before you life and death, Blessing and cursing. Therefore choose life that both thou and thy seed may live. Right. So if life is chosen, Israel's, from Israel's point of view, if they choose to stay with God, if they choose to behave God, behave and dwell with God, they're going to be blessed. Yes. Amen. They are being blessed. If we choose a life to walk according to the Spirit of God, because He seeketh such to worship Him in spirit and in truth, bless His name, we are going to be blessed. Amen? Amen. Amen. Right. The backdrop of this lesson is that Israel is still in the wilderness. Amen? Amen. And guess what? Moses is still around. Moses is not yet dead. <laughs> oh, praise God. Uh, Joshua, we heard about 
yes, um, last week is still here, there. Praise God. But then we are now looking at somebody wanting to curse you because of your behavior of who you are. Adversary is after each and every one of us. And he will pronounce or try to place upon us various afflictions. But as the song says, it is well with your soul. Remember that. Regardless of what we are going through, it is well. Amen. Some of us having diabetes, some of us having loss of memory and all that things. Some of us can't even walk properly. Some of us have just had an operation. But guess what? It is well. Amen? Amen. It is well. Death and life in the, are in the power of the tongue. And one of the things that we would like to encourage us today, praise God, as a presbyter, as a ministry, is that we encourage you to speak a blessing. Amen. Speak a blessing. Speak blessing. Speak blessing. Bible says, bless and curse not. For blessings is the same. Amen. Uh, I think there was a couple months ago, um, Brother Earl, Brother Grant preached a message where he says we should uh, bless each other. You know, as we we, we, we greet each other, he says, bless you, Grant, bless you, Shirley, bless you, Sister Campbell, bless you. You're pronouncing a blessing. Amen. Amen. And you you'll be surprised. Or we, you would be encouraged to understand that when you bless somebody, you yourself will get blessed. Yes. Amen. So let's look at this. Uh, next slide, Grant, please. The other thing that we need to understand is this. And this is a, we, we used this verse um, last week. And this verse is very important to all of us that we need to understand. I said earlier on that as much as uh, Balaam wanted to curse hmm. Israel because of the rewards that he would get, amen, hmm. the topic says Balaam cannot hmm. Israel. Yeah. It's not that he didn't want to curse Israel, but he was prevented, he was prevented to curse Israel. Amen? And the reason being is that every power, praise God, that you can think of is subject to the higher power. Amen? Every power, praise God, that you can think of is subject subject to the higher power. Last week we looked on the fact, praise God, that the police carries out the, the power of the law, the law, and it is the police's responsibility to activate or to practice or to act on behalf of the law. Thou shalt not steal. If you steal the power, the police has the, 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 the authority to capture and put you in prison. Amen. Now, look at what Paul says in Romans 13, verse 1. Let every soul be subject unto him, the higher, unto the higher power, for there is no power but of God. The powers that be, praise God, are ordained of God. If he chooses to put Donald Trump President of the United States. Hello, who are we? Amen. What can we do? He chose Cyrus to build the two, the two leaf gate. Amen. So that Israel could go back through it after the 70 years. He chose, he chose uh, Nebuchadnezzar to be the first empire, so to speak. Amen. And when Nebuchadnezzar saw him, and he was chased out into the wilderness where he became like a like a, like, like a, 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 a crow, a beast. A beast. Mm -hmm. It is God who who, who caused that. Yeah, yeah. So all powers be subjected, praise God, to the higher power. Yeah. Now the power 
that Balaam has, amen, he is a disgraced prophet. He has the ability by definition, praise God, to curse, amen, a family of um, anyone that he desires. And this is the reason why, praise God, Balaam, the Moabite king, would call him because there's a reputation, reputation that preceded Balaam. Amen. So he calls Balaam yeah. to pronounce a curse. Yeah. Now we know the story to the point. We know that we had the the, um, the, the, the ass, praise God, who cannot speak. Yeah. Praise God. God gave him the ass, yeah. the power to save Balaam from being slaughtered by the angel. Amen. 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 Trying to teach Balaam. Praise God that he is in charge. Amen. Amen. But this didn't bother David. Uh, David. Now, we're gonna, that's the foundation that we, we're looking at, the context by which we are going. We're not going to be so much looking at the behavior of David or what he tried to do with him uh, in, in, in cursing. We're not going to look so much on the, the, his feet being crushed by the axe. And, the, and he's with the ass. We're not going to look at it. What we're looking at, what we're going to look at, because he tried to curse Israel mm. three times. And every time he tried to curse Israel, he's taken up to the mountain. He went up three mountains. And the three mountains represented the vantage point which they would look or he would look at Israel in order to curse Israel. Amen. He's always looking down. Praise God. He's, he has to go high up to look down. Because guess what? In Israel is in the valley. is in the wilderness. And there are times when you're down Praise God. When you're down and you're troubled and you need a helping hand, you need somebody to help you up. Praise God. To lift you up to a high ground. But in this case, Balak, the Moabite, praise God, wanted to keep Israel down to the point that if, they, if he attacks Israel, he can beat them. Now, his behavior, Balak's behavior, is that he pretends to be a prophet of God by offering up sacrifices. We don't want to go there. So let's go to the next slide. Praise God. Praise the Lord. When God sends a prophet, we, know, we need to know this, the state of God's mind towards you. You need to understand how God feels about you. God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. For what you probably went through this week or going through at this moment in time, understand this, that when God sends a prophet to you, praise God, he, he, he comes with the truth. Amen. Amen. He's always speaking the truth. For they prophesied falsely when it got time. This is Jeremiah 29. They prophesied falsely unto you in my name. I have not sent them, said God. This is regarding the 70 year, um, yes. 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 captivity to 70 years. Right? Now, what's verse 11 of the same chapter? For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord. God's thoughts towards you, Brother Cameron, Brother Roy, Shasha, Pamela, all of you, every single one of you, praise God, God has a thought towards you. His thought towards you 
mom and dad is not the same towards me. But hey, hey is it still good? <laughs> it is still good because he knoweth the things that you are in need of. He's capable of uh, um, working out your personal problem. And, if, and at the same time as he works out your personal problem, he's working out Chasha's problem. Amen. He knows what's bothering them. This is what is it? For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord. Guess what? Thoughts of peace. As Brother Roy said, peace that passes all human understanding. There's a peace that God has towards you that is past your understanding. Have you ever been going through something and you said, why me, Lord? You say, why? Because you don't understand. But God does. Yes. Amen. God understands why you're going through the going through. Amen. So my peace, the thoughts of peace and not of evil. Guess what? That's what the adversary wants us to believe. That there God thinks evil towards us. Here is God saying there is no thought of evil to you. Even though you're going through the going through. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them. them all, through them all. Amen. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord, the thoughts of peace and not of evil. What is your expected end? Israel's expected end is to cross over into Canaan. Amen. 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 They have been in the wilderness for the fact. And they, 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 they have gone through so many things. Some of them have died because of disobedience. Praise God. But the expected end is that they would leave from the wilderness into Canaan. So his thoughts towards it. So there is no way that God is going to curse Israel. Amen. Amen. Balaam don't understand this. And Balaam didn't want to understand this. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise God. In natural, natural fact, Balaam wanted to go and fight them. Now, let's go to the next slide and then we are technically on the, we've done the foundation and we're in this now. Amen. Balaam summons Balaam. Numbers 22, verse 1 to 3. And the children of Israel set forward and pitched in the plains of Moab on this side Jordan by Jericho. And Balak the son of Zippor saw all that Israel had done to the Amorites. And Moab was sore afraid of the people because they were many, and Moab was distressed because of the children of Israel. Amen. In your sufferings, in our afflictions, there is an order that you have to maintain. The order of spirituality. The order of loving God just to say the order of walking according to his will, regardless of the circumstances that you find yourself in. Mm -hmm. Having a desire to progress, praise God. Having a desire in your heart that your hope is built on nothing less but Jesus Christ and righteousness. So that's the order. Amen. Now, when you, when you look at the next slide, next slide, please, right, please. And Moab, and Moab said unto the elders of Midian, Now shall this company lick up all that are round about us, 
as the ox licketh up the grass of the field, and Balak the son of Zippor was king of the Moabites at that time. He sent messengers therefore unto Balaam the son of Beor to Pithor, which is by the river of the land of the children of his people, to call him, saying, Behold, there is a people come out of Egypt. Behold, they cover the face of the earth, and they abide over against me. Now, what I would like us to understand is this. Israel is close to Canaan. Israel, for the capital, as we heard you minister the other day, is close and overseer to going over to Canaan. They are close to go to Jordan. Amen. Amen. Brethren, let me say this. The closer you get to glory, <laughs> the closer you get to your expected end, praise God, is the, it is the more aggressive the adversary gets. My Lord. Amen. He will fight you. Yes, sir. Do not enter the race if you don't expect competition. Do not enter the battle if you don't ex if you don't expect opposition. My For Lord. the devil opposes yes, everything that is called God. God. You know whatever plans you would make in your, even in your natural life, praise God. There is an opposition. Somebody wants to tear that plan that you have. And that plan could be you know, coming from your that opposition can be coming from your very own family. Mercy yeah. Lord. Yeah. Mercy. Yeah. <laughs> and let me just open the eyes of it. Moab, hallelujah, is related to Israel. Amen. <laughs> Moab is related to Israel. There are lots of children, praise God, by Jesus. My Lord. 